Hi, uh, I'm from Asia Wealth Management Research. I'm Minori Malawarachi. Uh, today I thought of talking about the current situation in the stock market and thought of giving some kind of a guidance for investors to consider at this moment where most of the counters are trading at a discount. So this is the most vital time for an investor to enter the market. So. In uh, ta taking in taking this, we can see okay what are the sectors that we can actually invest in. So basically, uh, a, a sector like banking, banking and finance sector, which which has so much of growth potential, and also it is if you say for an investor, it is more like a secure investment. So among there are so many banking counters that we can actually look into, but I thought of just uh, having a brief. Uh, discussion about the NDB Bank, National Development Bank. So uh, if we take National Development Bank, it is, uh, if we take based on the ranking, it is the fifth largest commercial bank in Sri Lanka with an asset base of uh, 124 billion. So if we take the profitability of the comp profitability of the bank, it has uh, continued to be very profitable. If we take okay now the currently they are uh, they maintain a spread around five percent. This is actually the spreads are low because they are because uh, now we, we, we know that the lending rates are low and the deposits the because basically because the lending rates are low so but still the company is very profitable if we take uh, if, if we analyze a bank with reference to the cost to income ratio we can say they are currently their cost to income ratio is around 43 percent so which is more in line with the other banking uh, other ba other banks also and so in terms of profitability company is at a very uh, convincing position and if we take um, so the capital adequacy for a bank actually that is one of the major thing and it is regular it is going with regulations also the capital adequacy of the bank if we take the currently the capital adequacy ratio is around the uh, the core capital adequacy ratio is around 10.16 where the minimum regulation is 5% and also the total capital adequacy is around 11.72 where the minimum requirement is 10% so if we look at the capital adequacy also they are in a very convincing position and also if we look at the asset quality of the ba basically when we look at a bank we need to think with we need to look at whether the bank's uh, asset portfolio asset, the loan portfolio is uh, uh, very efficient. So by looking at that, we can look at the non-performing loans. If, uh, for NDB Bank, the non-performing gross non-performing loan ratio is around 1.6 percent. So if we take the industry as a whole, it is around 4.9 percent. So NDB Bank is at a very convincing position. So in terms of the asset quality, also uh, NDB Bank is in a uh, uh, in a very good position so by looking at all these things we can see and also with the future strategies because basically NDB bank is more towards development so they are NDB bank is more towards uh, financing uh, development projects so in that case considering the huge growth potentials coming from the growing economy in Sri Lanka we can see the NDB bank can have a good uh, future going ahead with its uh, uh, going with their strategy. So NDB, uh, NDB Bank as a whole, we can say that uh, with its subsidiaries and all, we can say NDB Bank is a worthwhile investment for an investor to con consider at this moment, where the counter, the prices are relatively low at this moment. Thank you.